there are many, many different applications. You can even use, um, you've got like a spray bottle, you keep this in your bag, you can use it on your eyes, you can use it on your skin, on mozzie bites, on all sorts of things. And yes, it is only the liquid, but if you let it go down 75%, top up with fresh distilled water, it will carry on forever. Um, the little C U O two drops. I don't know if I've actually got it. On the end there. These these are the copper oxide drops, and also the same story. Put it in your um, first aid kit, and when you have a wound or anything, put some on. It will clean any bacteria gone, and drop it down to set, uh, to seventy five percent of it down. And with that last 25%, add your distilled water, it will recharge. Um, Gans is forever. And liquid plasma is forever. And that liquid plasma has got the same strength as the Gans, but in a form that your body can handle. So you can't drink the neat Gans, but you can use the liquid plasma, no problem. Because all the energy signature is in the liquid plasma. So now... We are going to do a bit of food. Yeah. A bit of the food ganses. Now, the food ganses are a little tricky because most people say eventually we'll be able to take our four basic ganses and we'll be able to use those energies and we can live on them like breatharians do. Okay? You won't need to eat. But we don't understand this yet. Our bodies don't understand this yet. Our emotions don't understand this yet. And we've got to start playing. So what we've been doing, like with our fruit and veg smoothie here, and because of our agriculture and what we might need to feed our plants, we've started playing with um, plants and herbs, creating food type ganses. So there's a trick with the food ganses. What happens is if you have a look at the little sheet I gave you on food ganses, um, this is the theory behind the plasma and how the digestion system works. And we're going to mirror the digestive system to create our food ganses. Because what our digestive system does is it creates food ganses in our gut. We absorb the energy from the gans and then it gets passed through. So we're going to mirror what our gut does. What happens is food goes into your mouth. And your body immediately identifies what plasmas are going to come into your gut and be absorbed. So it knows. When the food goes into um, our mouths, we chew. And so we have to obviously repeat that process. So we take one of those stick blenders and we puree everything up. If you have like a dried herb, you can use a coffee grinder. Get it as fine as fine as you can. So there's our step one. Our step two is in the stomach. Now, this is the step I leave out. Okay? Some people use um, hydrochloric acid. What happens with hydrochloric acid, though, is you gas sugars. So you create sugar gas. And I'm afraid as a health-type nut, I don't want to gas sugars. The only gas of sugar I've got is this. And this sugar gas is to put the pH levels to change in those gold balls, the ones with the low pH have got some sugar gans in because it's to manipulate your pH. So I don't particularly want That's too pH much. Of two. This is a pH of two, the sugar gans. Um, That's very acidic. Yes. Acidic. So yeah. I don't particularly it's, want it's it's acidic too. But you can put it on your skin and it won't burn you. The but water. It's it doesn't um, burn you. Is that a bit like the concept of the acid, the of lemon? Is that it's acid, but in your body it's alkaline? Yeah, it's some similar. It's because it's not. It might appear when we do it. pH. It appears as pH of two. Some people have got it down to one. Uh, their sugar gains, but it doesn't. It's not. It's, it's acid not as we know it yeah. that will corrode, and so it's totally different. <laughs> Has okay. it morphed into another type of acid, like? We were just saying before about the citric acid from lemon, you know how it 
it's, it's an acid on the outside, but inside it's yeah. the alkaline. It's like it just doesn't. I, I don't know. Through. It's I'm not sure. I've, it's just the, yeah. the fuel strength. Obviously, in in our in our indicators that we have today in science, it tells us that that this yeah. is a pH of two, but in reality, it's not. And what it'll do is it'll give you a high energy. You can touch it, and yeah. you can get an energy to kick out of it. But it's to me, it, I don't know. So what I do is I skip the part of the tummy because I want all the, the proteins and the oxides and even when I wash my GANs they still end up often neutral even though I've added alkaline. So what we do is we do use the NaOH to break the particle down into a nano. So if we have a look here, I wanted some I wanted some oats to be ganced because I had a look up and it said that oats is one of the um, really good forms of silica and I wanted to be able to add silica to my plants. So it's one of our ganses we use in our plants. So I added caustic to my oats, but what I did is I, I made it into a flour first, okay? So very, very fine. So this is oats in caustic, and you can see that it's made very, very fine sort of particles there. What I'll do now is I'll take a syringe or two of that, and I'll put it through a coffee filter, because I don't want the actual matter. I just want the nano. So even if you filter it two or three times, or th two, two or three filters, what you'll end up with is a very, very clear liquid. I, I caustic this one and put it through the coffee filter. This is my um, elderberry tea. And you can see it's, it is dark, but it's pretty clear in there. There's not, there's not actual chunks of anything. So we take the chunks out. Even if you have to, if it's chunky, use a tea strainer first and then a coffee filter. And once we've done that, we add it to extra salt. Now the trick is if you want extra healing in it as well, you add it to your CO2 kit. If you just want to make sure it turns into a gas, you add it to some seawater. Sometimes it doesn't look like it's turning into a gas and you have to, because seawater is only 4.5% you might need to add a bit of extra salt to like a 10% solution to get your... And please, when I say seawater, you can just do a normal distilled water and, and salt mixture and use it for all your kits. It's only because I live at the sea I can, I can get the seawater. But if you're inland and you don't want to go, you just... But don't use table salt, use proper sea salt. Um, so there's our nano. Now we throw it into the salt water and it will it'll look something like that. So now this is unwashed. It's still got some caustic in and it's got the salt water in. And that's just a couple of syringes of, of the top of the Don't go and make yourself buckets of this stuff. You literally need two or three tablespoons to create a big load of GANs because what it does is the nano makes it very small and then when it attaches to oxygen it poofs out like popcorn so you don't need huge amounts don't go and create buckets and buckets because I don't know where you'll get rid of it to you just, you just need to do a few spoons here and there and you've got your mother now when I've washed that oat GANs I've washed the food you need to wash maybe nine or ten times that will be your result you mustn't smell anything if it's still smelly, it's not clean, and it shouldn't stink. And even though this was quite um, alkaline, having the NaOH and the salt in it, once we finish testing, certain of them are different, different pHs. Um, this one is quite high. This is 10. I reckon it's the silica because it's a mineral that it's 10, because all the minerals tend to be high. Um, This is my fruit and veg smoothie, so you can see it's, it's all been nicely washed. 
Um, this was um, passion fruit, uh, mandarin, lemon, orange, and kale, and all sorts of wonderful green smoothie stuff. Please use all organic. <laughs> you don't want to dance any pesticides. <laughs> Things can surprise you, and they can be beautiful. This is the Gans of Strawberry. It's, it's absolutely delicate and exquisite. Um, this is 6.7. Because it's a fruit, and with certain sugars, even though I used the alkaline, it did gain some of the sugars, but not a huge amount. So it's still pretty good for your body, even though it's slightly less than 7. Does it taste like strawberries? No, it doesn't. <laughs> if you add it with amino acids and in a certain condition and you put the water in your mouth, you will, if you are that way inclined, you'll taste strawberries. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, it, we've, we've got to train our bodies. Excuse me, I'm going to get slow. How, how did you get the strawberry gates in the first place? I smoothied it. I put the NaOH. I then put it into salt water and then I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned like I was showing with this. So it's all the same process and you get, you get your gases from each of them. It is a little bit more tricky and so the people who want to do it, you need to get a bit of a feel for it. It's, it's something you might not get right exactly the first time but it's fun and it's not that hard once you get to it. Um, this for example is jelly bush honey gans. And this has actually got a very high pH, it's 10.2. I reckon because it's so medicinal. Mm. So it's not against the sugars, it's just taken all the medicinal effects from, from the jelly bush and put it in the gans. Anybody who'd like to try some, I'd be happy to let to have some of the liquid and test it for me because I haven't had anything to test it on. Um, mm. But the jelly bush honey I think is, you know, Especially being an Australian product, mm. Jelly Bush Honey Gans, maybe we can do something with that. Oh, yeah. um, you can even Gans eggshells for calcium. If you've got broken bones and you're wanting to put on a patch, perfect calcium energy right against the place that it needs to be. So, what I've done here. I've taken the eggshell and put, this is in NaOH, so you can see it's got the nano on the top, and once I've ganced, um, there it is at the bottom, and it's clean, so this can be added to any kind of a, uh, a issue with bones, and also very importantly for brain. Um, if you've got any brain issues, the calcium can help, because a lot of the brain functions are connected to the skull and they work in tandem, the skull works in tandem with the brain. So your GANs of CO2, zinc and calcium are extremely important for the brain. So Lisa, I was reading on some of your information last night um, and obviously red goes, red muscles, white goes with white. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it does kind of connect like that and you can start remembering it like yeah, that. So yes. anything that's kind of creamy and white is really good for the bones brain and yes. it's kind of not red. Well that's the universe. Mm. Makes sense. Mm. Yeah. <laughs>